Hi, my name is Justice York. I've been playing disc golf now for about four months. Hi, uh, my name's Sam. Hey guys, I'm Baron, uh, Baron West. What's up guys, my name is Max Bolser. Um, I'm pretty new to disc golf. I got in about halfway through first semester of my freshman year. All my friends were playing. I was super nervous to play, but you know, they convinced me one day and I've been in love with it ever since. Yeah, so how I got into disc golf? Well, this semester we came back to school and we had a little more free time on our hands with COVID and all this other junk going on. So we just needed something to kill some time. And we had a few guys in our hall that invited us to come out and play with them. And that's kind of how we got hooked. And the reason I started playing disc golf was I got invited by a friend and I thought it'd just be great to get outside and meet some new people and enjoy the beautiful fall Knoxville weather, you know? <laughs> I picked up disc golf uh, because of quarantine in March, went home, had not much else to do. Uh, Fun game, it's competitive, and everyone can do it, and you can go out with your friends, and it's a good time. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through a few of my favorite discs, and we're gonna start off with the uh, Innova AVR X3, and this is what I would argue the best approach disc in the game. It's got a very hard fade at the end. It's great for flicks up to the basket, or even a good little backhand towards the basket. You can always bank on that over stability of this disc, and I love it for the approach shots. It gives me those nice tap-ins. This is my OptoLine Pure, and the reason I brought this instead of a mid-range is because the Pure, to me, is something that is useful for any distance between 150 to up to the pin, and it's great for just an approach shot. It's very rare you see me play around without pulling out the Opto Pure at least once in the bag, and um, I'm just glad I have this disc. It's probably my most used, my most used disc. Uh, zone for those approach shots, like really flexy, really overstable. Uh, great forehand approach disc, I love it. Um, for those kind of like risky throw-ins too from really far. Um, these are my discs that I'm using right now. Um, I just picked this one up, it's my Wizard. I really like it, it glides pretty well. It's really nice plastic, super stupid soft. It's pretty sick. Up next, for a little farther back, we're gonna go with the, the Big Z Buzz by Discraft. And this disc feels great in the hands and it's an absolute laser beam straight forward. As far as you can throw it, it'll go and it will hold whatever line you put it on. It puts you right up next to the basket. It's a wonderful disc to throw. It feels great in the hand. Uh, the Buzz, it's a Buzz. We all have those, they're amazing. This is my Buzz. Everybody has this, everybody loves this. I just picked this up, got it for Christmas. It's super awesome mid-range, goes really far, really nice plastic, really nice weight, super sick. But let's say you need to go a little farther. Let's say you need to reach out and touch something. Well, that's when we're gonna break out the Disc Mania DD3. What does DD stand for, you ask? Daddy distance. This disc goes the extra mile. It'll go as far as you want it to. Very overstable, so you gotta put a little flip on it, but she will reach out and tickle something. One of my favorite discs in the bag. My most recent purchase, the Blizzard T-Double. Um, this is a distance driver, 12 speed, very overstable. It likes to, really likes to bend left as soon as it releases from your hand, very hyzer. Um, it's great, it's very, it's, it's very much a utility disc. I enjoy it though, glad I have it in my bag, and that's the Blizzard T-Double. Champion Destroyer, it's uh, the tie looks sick, but they all kind of fly different, but they're bombers. They go really far, super easy for me to throw. Uh, Ballista Pro, also goes really far, I love it, it's huge, it feels really good. Um, this is the first driver I ever had, this is my Leopard. I really like it if you're a beginner, you're gonna love this disc, it just goes straight. It's pretty sick, super understable, I love it. This is my Firebird. I hardly ever throw this, but when I wanna you know, really get around something, it's a super overstable disc, I love it. It's a nine speed, so it's not too hard for me to throw, because I'm you know, a beginner. Next up, the Putter. This is my Maiden, um, I just got this recently. It's uh, something that I've been trying to putt with, and it's very straight flying, three speed. I really like it, it's beadless, feels really good in the hand and it just really helps me to um, really just focus on the pin and gets those clean putts in from anywhere between 30 to 20 feet. Right around that range, that's where I feel most comfortable. And then I love Jawbreaker Plastic. Feels really good in the hand, soft, kind of gummy, but it sticks in the chain really well. So those are my discs. Yeah, so uh, my name is Brad Deputy. Um, I've been playing Ultimate for like three years now. Uh, this is my Cortland. Uh, University Charizard disc. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's university. It may just be college. It may be a club team. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I got this at uh, High Tide. It was a really cool ultimate tournament. A bunch of college students. We went out for spring break. Um, it was really fun. What? It, it's not ultimate? Disc golf? Oh, I'm in the wrong place.